Hey there, I'm Yanis, a content creator at Prezi, and in this video I'd like to give you a tour of the Prezi Design Editor. We've built Prezi Design with the aim to make the design process simple and enjoyable, but mastering a new tool can still be a little tricky. In just a few minutes, we'll cover all you need to know to navigate the Prezi Design Editor, from modifying your content, to structuring it, to keeping your style consistent. Let's get to it! There are a few ways to move and resize your content on the canvas. To move objects around, you just have to click and drag them to a different spot. If you want to be really precise, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. One tap will move the item by one pixel, while holding shift will shift your object by 10 pixels at a time. To resize an object, select it on the canvas, then hover over one of its corners or sides, and click and drag your mouse in or out. To resize an object from its center, Hold the Option or Alt key on your keyboard while clicking and dragging your mouse. And if you have a specific size in mind, you can enter the width and height in pixels in the Settings panel on the right. With Prezi Design's Smart Guides and Grid, aligning and structuring your content couldn't be easier. When moving an object around the canvas, you'll see the Smart Guides appear. They snap the selected object into place based on its position on the canvas and the items around it. You can also use a grid to keep your content organized. Just tap G on your keyboard and you'll see columns with lines appear on the canvas. Use those for reference. Select grid in the bottom left corner and use the sliders to adjust the spacing and number of the grid's columns. New content can be added from the toolbar on the left side of the editor. Here, you'll find several text items, more than 40 charts, hundreds of interactive maps, graphics including video covers and GIFs, pre-made elements like timelines and lists, different kinds of shapes, and various integrations. To add something to the canvas, hover over the item's thumbnail and select Insert or simply drag and drop it onto the canvas. If you'd like to delete an object, select it and tap backspace on your keyboard or right-click on it and select Delete. Once you click on an object, its customization options will appear in the Settings panel on the right. Different items have different editing possibilities. For example, if you select an image, you can crop it, mask it, add a filter, and even remove the background. Let's not forget about a simple but very important action. Copying your content. You can of course use Command C, Command V on Macs and Control C, Control V on Windows to copy objects within the same project or between different Prezi design projects. You can also duplicate an object with the Command-D keyboard shortcut on Macs and Control-D on Windows. This will create a copy right next to the original. Hold the Option or Alt key on your keyboard and click and drag an object to create a copy. This also works if you select several objects. Here's a tip. By holding Shift-Option or Shift-Alt on your keyboard and dragging an object, you'll create a copy that will be locked on the X or Y axis, depending on your first mouse movement. This will come in handy if you're creating a list of items and need them to be properly aligned. You can also copy the style of an object with a few taps on your keyboard. First, select an object and use the keyboard shortcut Shift-Command-C on Macs and Shift-Control-C on Windows to copy the style. Then select a different object and use Shift-Command-V or Shift-Control-V to paste the style. You can also use the context menu to copy and paste the style by right-clicking on an object. Keep in mind that this feature only works with similar objects. For example, you won't be able to copy a text box's style and paste it onto a chart, but you can copy the style from one chart to another. Like this. When copying, moving or resizing objects, it can come in handy to group several of them together. To do so, click and drag your mouse over several items or hold shift on your keyboard and select the items that you want to group. Then, 
Use the keyboard shortcut Command-G on Macs or Control-G on Windows to group the items. You can also select Group Objects in the Settings panel on the right. Once the items are grouped, you can move or copy all of them together. To ungroup objects, select Ungroup Element in the Settings panel. Prezi Design lets you layer objects on top of one another to create background visuals. Right-click on an object, then select Bring Forward or Bring to Front to place it on top of other objects, and Send Backward or Send to Back to place it behind other content. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts displayed in the context menu. You also might need to adjust the angle of some items when working on your design, and there are a few ways to do this. Select an object, then click on the rotation icon next to it and drag your mouse in any direction to rotate it. You can also hold R on your keyboard and move your mouse in any direction to rotate the selected object. If you rotate the object by holding Shift plus R, it'll snap into place every 15 degrees. And if you want to be really precise with your angles, you can manually enter the degree of rotation in the settings panel on the right. Whoops, didn't mean to do something. No problem. You can easily undo and redo any changes you make in your projects. Simply use the keyboard shortcut Command Z or Control Z to undo an action, and the shortcut Command Y or Control Y to redo the last reversed action. You can also access the redo and undo buttons from the menu in the top left corner of the editor. Just remember that the action history is lost when you exit the editor and close the project you're working on so you won't be able to undo and redo your last steps when you open the project later. If you're working on some tiny details in a large-scale project, you can always zoom in on your content to have a better view and then zoom out for the big picture. To zoom in or out at any time, hold Command or Control on your keyboard and use your mouse's scroll wheel. For a more precise zoom, hover over the percentage in the bottom left corner then click on plus to zoom in and minus to zoom out. You can also fit your content to match your screen size by clicking here or view all pages as thumbnails by clicking here. Now you should be able to easily find your way around the Prezi Design Editor. To learn more about specific features, check out our other tutorial videos or look for step-by-step -step guides on our dedicated knowledge base.